Advocates are urging TikTok to improve its parental monitoring features. This comes after a series of children died while attempting a dangerous challenge. Femi Redwood reports. Joshua Hallier was like many 12 year olds. He did chores and would help with family meals. Guess what this show the rest of us? He was also an aspiring actor. A brilliant, smart, outgoing, you know, he's the light for our house. But Haliesu Zerahun says that light was lost when his son died this spring. The family believes Joshua choked himself while attempting the blackout challenge on TikTok. You know, right now it's very quiet. I don't even hear any loud noise at home anymore. You know, that just, that is the one that really gets me too. So sorry. While dangerous games have circulated on social media for years under different names, the blackout challenge has recently been connected to several deaths. TikTok's just not a safe place for kids. Dahlia Hashad is with the group Parents Together. She says while there are some parental settings on TikTok, it's not possible to know exactly what videos kids are watching. The group has gathered more than 12,000 signatures on a petition requesting TikTok create mirror accounts. Which means that kids would be able to log on on their device and parents would log on on theirs and they would be able to see exactly what TikTok is serving their children. TikTok has not contacted parents together and declined our interview request. In a statement, the company says TikTok has taken industry first steps to protect teens and promote age appropriate experiences, including strong default privacy settings for minors. The social media giant also says it blocked content related to inappropriate hashtags or phrases. You know, I'm sure Joshua if he knew this was going to kill him, I know he wouldn't do it. Ziri Hoon is sharing his son's story, hoping it will save lives. Femi Redwood, CBS News, New York.